Hey guys, it's Takalis and welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing the uh, Black Madison Rounders. Uh, this was produced and designed by Illusionist and uh, Daniel Madison. That was a famous magician that went on Penn and Teller and who also works very closely with Illusionist and Theory 11. You can pick this deck up from Davenport's Magic, link in the description below. So, on the front of the box it has a big nice custom ace here and it has Madison Rounders in black. It has quality playing cards designed by Daniel Madison and Illusionist. On the side it has nothing there, it's just blank, and on the other side it's basically mirrored, there's nothing there as well. On the bottom it has the Illusionist logo with a barcode there, and it has um, the United States Bank Card Company as well, and it has Madison Rounders with a black kind of uh, reflective seal that has Madison Rounders there. The same basically this is on this bit, really cool. On the um, back we have like a black back and it has his logo, the Mad uh, Daniel Madison logo there and there, uh, and it's quite cool and it has actually a white border when you get inside. Uh, when you take this out the flap, you can see that it has a nice um, white, basically, there's no information there, and there's some, um, you know, JLPM, not sure, if anyone knows what that actually means, then let me know. Okay, let's see how what this looks like, so you get um, the same cards as the brown one and the other rounders, you get a double backer, and then you can see it has a white border going around, and it has M&M, uh, &M, basically, not M&M, &M, like, you know, M&M's like the M&M's, but as you can see we have the Madison logo just there. Double backer, always good for magic. You get the Illusionist playing card, kind of advertisement card to promote themselves. And then you've got the uh, the Joker, it's a raven, on like a pair of book, like kind of um, shaver, uh, like things that you would use to shave. You have a kind of a space here, and you can see the shadow there, and he's on the scissors and the kind of thing that shaves, like, you know, if you're a man you shave. Um, if you don't, and you don't. And it has a nine of clubs reveal in this one on the scissors. You probably won't be able to pick that up. It's very tiny, even my eye struggles, but it has a nine of clubs uh, one just there inside. So you see um, the back designs I was talking about. It's just very plain, very small, kind of reminds me of the knock. It has Madison, Madison logo there, Daniel Madison logo. And it does look good actually when you do um, do certain things with it. So we'll see the cards you get inside. Uh, I don't know all the magicians that are in this deck, so please excuse me if I do um, pronounce any of them wrong, like if I get any of them wrong I do apologise. Okay, so, and also I've noticed when you open it up uh, it comes in a different type of order, the diamonds come in Ace to King. So you go Madison Rounders, uh, and it has the US Blank Card Company there, the same as on the front of the box, and you can see it's basically standard um, you know, bicycle kind of uh, pips till you get to the royalty that has um, famous magicians on it. Okay, and I'll quickly take you through them. You may know who these people are. I only know a few of them that are in this deck. And you can see it continues the whole way through. Uh, this, this is the standard Joker. They must have run out of magicians. Um, they should have put Bill Davenport on this one. He would have loved that. Um, and it continues the whole way through the standard faces there. With a kind of burgundy colour, not the normal standard like in your face card matte red, but kind of a burgundy colour. Uh, continue with this one, you have Laura London. And that was shouted out in my brown review of this. Um, and you have the continued the standard basic pips. And then you have the kings, um, and it goes through, and you have the jack, and the pips are completely standard there. So let's see how this deck handles. Well, first off, it does spread really nicely, it looks good on the table, kind of reminds me of the black knocks. It dribbles well, it springs nicely. Do it again. It springs. Nice, I'll do a slow one. Okay, uh, we'll do a riffle shuffle. And it does that nicely. We'll do a double lift. Okay, and we'll do a color change maybe. So let's do this one. So we change the two to the ace. Uh, we'll do a fan, the standard fan. Oh, and the fans are really cool. This, this thin border, it does stand out from the deck. Uh, and you can see that the pips also show. We'll do a giant fan, as many of you love for me to do. And I like to make you guys happy, so I'll do a giant fan. As you can see, it's a nut, it looks great in the giant fans also. So it's a really nice deck of cards. Uh, I can't, I'm quite a big fan of it. Very simple. I, at first, I thought oh, I'd be a bit hesitant because I thought that it was very a bit plain. And but, um, actually, it handles great. And Daniel Madison has done a great job. Uh, Cardistry wise, um, it does cut great and does all the flourishing type of stuff great. Uh, one of my friends that's here today does all the flourishing stuff and he knows how to do it all. And as you can see, Charlie Haycut does that quite easily as well. 
So that's it. You can pick this deck up from uh, Davenport's Magic. Link in the description below. Make sure you like the video just down there to show your support. Subscribe to the channel just up there. And make sure you check out the previous video just up there. That's it. I hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Hi all, thanks for watching that video. As I mentioned uh, for you to like the video, why not like the video? Because it shows me and Davenport's and all the other companies that you enjoy what we're putting out and you enjoy the packs of cards that we're reviewing. You may uh, comment on the video, but then maybe give it a like as well because it shows us that you enjoy the videos and it gets more people to see uh, the video that you liked, okay? So that's it, thanks for liking the video. If, if you have liked it, it would be much appreciated. And uh, that's it, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.